Hey guys, it's Britt Nicole here, and let's go over my summer biannual bibliothon wrap up. So the summer biannual bibliothon ended about six days ago, and I'm just now filming my wrap up video. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm a little bit behind on some of my videos. I've had a lot going on. As you probably saw in my vlogs, I did refracture my jaw. And I'm just now to the point where I feel like I can talk regularly. And I did end up having two root canals done. So much fun, so much pain, but I am a lot better now. And I wanna do my wrap up today. So as we go over the books that I read, I am going to be saying the challenges that they met. And as we go, and then I'm going to give you the total number of pages that I read at the end. Because I thought that was something a little bit different. I saw Books and Lala do this for a couple of different her readathons that she did. And just thought it would be fun to see how many pages that I actually read. I'm also going to be giving you my star ratings for each of these books. But before we get started, guys, let's go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's hit that thumbs up button. And then we'll get started today. So, as you guys saw, I did not do any of the video challenges. I just did the reading challenges. And the first reading challenge was to read the group book, The Wicked Deep, Shay Aronshaw. And I did accomplish this, and I gave it five stars. Stars. Guys, this has to be one of my favorite books of the year. Other than The Cruel Prince and Gunslinger Girl, I've read so many five-star books this year and I absolutely love this. And one of my favorite booktubers is Julie from Pages and Pens and she absolutely loves this book. And I was going to pick it up anyways because she recommended it, but I'm so glad I did because it's one of my all-time favorite books this year so far and I love this book. So the next challenge was to pick three different books and read the first chapter of each book and then pick a book from those three that were, you were more interested in reading. And I ended up picking up The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. I love Holly Black's writing and I just couldn't connect with it. It was a good storyline and I think if I would have read this book when it first came out, I would have been more invested in it. At first I gave it 2.5 stars, 3 stars, but now that like I've had time to sit on it, I think it's more of a 3.5 star book. It was still a really good storyline and I enjoyed it, but it wasn't like where it put me into that four star rating or that five star rating where it was the best book I read, but I did really enjoy this. So the next challenge is to read a book that's been on your TBR for over a year. And I ended up picking up Between the B Devil and the Deep Blue Sea by April Genevieve Tucholsky. I think that's how you pronounce it. I DNF this book after a hundred and oh I put a little post-it showing where I stopped. I read 132 pages, read up to chapter 13. I did DNF this book, did not like it, couldn't connect with any of the characters. It just wasn't my taste, so sorry, but we'll not be continuing on with this book or this series. So I went ahead and Instead of reading the Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea, I ended up doing Opposition by Jennifer L. Armstrong because this bit has been on my TBR for a long time. Even though I have recently just started reading this Lux series, this has been on my TBR for over a year and I'm so glad that I finally, finally completed this book. Five stars, love Jennifer L. Armstrong's writing, even though this is an older book and I can see how there's problematic things going on in it, but I still enjoyed every single second of this book series and I, I'm finally done. So guys, that's three challenges completed so far. Let's see how many more I, I have completed. The next challenge is choose a book from someone else's TBR and I ended up going with Angel File by Susan E. This was on my friend Lauren's TBR and we did buddy read this and kind of talk about it as we read it. And this was a really good book, guys. Four star read. I really enjoyed it. Maybe not as much as other people because I don't even think I'm going to be picking up the next ones in the series. I haven't decided yet. But yes, I did complete another challenge with this book. So the next challenge was to read a book that was supposed to be a five star read and I ended up picking King of Mists because Duel of Fire was so amazing. It was a five star read for me. I figured that King of Mists would also be a five star read. And guess what, guys? It was. Five stars, absolutely Jordan Rivers writing, and I can't wait to get to the rest in the series. So challenge number six was supposed to be pick up a book that is in its own voice, is a different voice than your own, and I was supposed to be reading Red Rising by Pierce Brown with a couple of friends, and that just didn't happen. So I ended up picking Gathering Darkness by Morgan Rhodes. 
and this book has where all the main characters have their own chapter and you read from each chapter and there's a lot of male characters that you read from and I am female so I guess this would be considered something different than my own voice. So challenge number six was completed. So last but not least is number seven and this challenge was to read one of the last books that you have acquired or bought and I have bought a lot of books recently or I have received a lot of books more recently so I could really pick anything that I've really bought more recently because I just did a big haul and I bought them or received them all at the same time and my mom's been asking me to read the series because she re really enjoyed it and we just got it was Nora Roberts Star Fortune with this one being the first and then Bea Size being the second so yes guys I did <laughs> end up reading both of these books they're only a little bit under 300 pages or right at 300 pages and the font was really large for me so I flew through both of these books I'm going to have to give both give these three stars I'm not a big Nora Roberts fan I've only read one of her other books and I'm just not a fan of her writing I did enjoy this trilogy but it just wasn't amazing and I ended up as you will see in my July wrap up I did end up picking up the third book in this trilogy but three stars to both they're just they were good but they weren't great so guys here's the eight books that I read during the summer biannual bibliothon I can't believe I read this much and I vlogged every single day except for one so in conclusion all the books that I read including the 132 pages that I read in the Devil by the Deep Blue Sea. I have read a total of 2,818 pages in the Summer Biannual Bibliothon. That blows my mind, guys. I read so quickly and enjoyed every single thing that I read other than The Devil in the Deep Blue Sea. And I can't wait to get to Book Tubathon and do this again. I'm thinking about taking part in a 24-hour reading thon, but we'll see how that goes because I will be moving soon. And if you like these videos, guys, let's hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe and become part of my growing channel. And I look forward to seeing everybody soon in my next video. Bye!